So lawn mowers out. I know you've already been cutting for the season. What do you want to talk about? Well, the first thing I want to talk about is the most important cut you can make is before the lawn starts growing. Oh, hang on a second. That sounds like a landscaper talk. What do you mean before the lawn starts growing? When the lawn's dry enough to get work on, you can take your lawnmower, set it at a low setting, now low enough that it's not going to scalp the lawn, but cut it and pick up all that debris that's been left from the winter. Ah, so we're not really cutting the lawn so much as we are just cleaning it up? Dead grass, sticks, anything that it is, you're getting it off the lawn, and that's a great start. All right, so in the spring, the grass is growing really fast. What sort of length of cut do you want then? You're going to raise it up a little bit to cut it, to keep up with it growing that fast so it doesn't get too long before you cut mm -hmm. it. But we're basically still at a short cut right there? Short cut, but never short enough that it scalps the lawn. So in the summertime, when the heat comes, what yeah. are you thinking about the length of your cut then? We're going to make it even longer on that cut because those blades of grass will help shade the soil underneath and keep it from drying out and also keep weeds from growing. Okay, so then as the uh, fall comes, it starts to grow fast again as the temperatures start to go down? Right, and you're going to drop it back down because there's not as much heat stress on the lawn and it's just going to be a nice beautiful carpet in the fall. And then that final cut of the lawn before we put it to bed for the winter, what's your recommendation? We're going back down as low as we can go again without scalping the lawn. The whole cycle of cutting the lawn, I love it. Good Up information. Thank, Thank you. you.